Hi, this is Dosbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Churches of the Savage Frontier. We've just completed that battle in the Hill Giant and Pirate Barracks, and after the battle, you search the room and find a piece of paper which you copy in your journal as entry number 36, which we are flipping to right now. Yeah. This is one of the entries that was on the page that was missing, but I pulled up the PDF I downloaded and printed it out. We opened the hastily scribbled note. It read, Carno, Gullah's the greedy. He says he's going to toast you with his breath and eat you for dinner tonight unless he gets the gold you promised him from that ship we took off Lylon. He's not choking. He could burn this whole village to the ground at any moment. You know how his moods are. You can't use logic with him. I heard him through, roaring through the walls last night while I tried to sleep. Get him that golden fast! Signed, oh, let's see, looks like Ozalt. Okay. So, let's see if it's safe to camp here is a little bit closer to the dragon than some of the other places where we tried the camping, so... Not sure if this is going to work. Nope. As you begin to rest, a great roaring sound seems to make the walls tremble. Whatever it is, it sounds dangerous. Let's not rest here, says Hosita. Okay, so... Get back out. Uh, maybe that nice room where the pirate captain was meeting with the fire giants. We'll fix and rest. And save. There. Wonder what else is in this town. Ooh. There is an armor shop. Maybe we can go there first. A body of the armor, quality beyond question, so no questions asked. Are you interested in weaponry? Uh yeah, sir, yes, sir. We are not gonna ask him questions. It would be nice to get some of the stuff we found recently memorized. Like that sword. Ooh, sword of stalking. Sounds interesting. We'll have to figure out who to give that to. And how about those arrows? Well, oh, they're just ordinary arrows. I wonder if we can give those to... Rosita. Nope. Okay. We'll just re-equip them for the moment. Now uh, let's see if those helms were worth picking up. That's the helm plus one. And that's the helm plus two. Ooh. Well, let's have him equip the helm plus two. Oh, another Helm Plus Two. Cool. Okay. And I think somebody will be wanting their sling back. Maybe. If we got the room for it. Okay. Don't know if it's his sling or not, but whatever. And 
And yes, that is a potion of spell enhancing. And I think we've tried. Yeah. I know. It's just a good way to blow off a couple of platinum. Even bother though. Okay. Cool. So, let's... Yeah, there is another shop in town where we'll be able to buy some cool stuff. So even though there's no magical stuff that we want to buy here, there's stuff we can buy in a different shop. Okay. This is it. Sword Coast Map Makers. Charts, Maps, Ancient Lore. Of course, if you've got the clue book, this isn't absolutely essential, but... Yeah, Farms of Long Saddle, Luscon High Captains, Treasure Map, Fire Docks Map, Fire Dock Map, and Tunnels of Orlembor. Well, let's... Let's pull the gold. Oh. Oh, she doesn't have room. We might be able to sell off stuff here, though. How about her? She's probably got room for maps. We can get the treasure map. And the Luscon High Captains. And the Tunnels of Orlumbor. Now let's sell off. Some of our excess stuff. Yeah, we'll dump the non-magic arrows. We could probably sell off that mace plus one. Okay, how about the farms of Long Saddle? I bet Teresa still has room for another map. The fire dock map. And I think we'll have him give the map he bought to Teresa so all the maps can be with one character. And the next time we're in camp we can take a look at those. Okay. Well, that was kind of interesting. Now this should be 
one more building we can investigate right here before we go tackle the dragon. This warehouse is stacked high with crates of goods. The moment you enter, a robed man sees you and calls out, Thieves! Enemies run from all corners of the room. So we have a pirate, host tower mage, giant skeleton. Okay. Host tower mage is in a couple of places. This looks good. I want to at least damage. Oh, come on. Okay. We need to equip his arrows. Yeah, we want to damage those mages so they can't cast spells like that one's trying to do. Which is why we're not immediately into melee range. Oh, wait a minute. Move. You guys look cold. Let's warm you up with a fireball. Okay. Oh, crap. That looks good. Let's see if we can turn that skeleton. Good. I want to take out those spellcasters first. So this will be very easy indeed. Ah! 
Oh, yeah. Switch to melee weapon. more characters are ready for promotion. A little bit of platinum. And some kind of interesting things. Well, we'll have her take the lucky papers right away. And then we'll have our cleric cast detect magic on the rest. Basically the bracers the mages were carrying and their darts. Okay. Okay. And let's look up real quick what that sort of stocking we found. In that pre... Oh, okay. Basically, it's a... Uh, a bastard sword. You know, hand and a half sword. Plus four. which I think this game forces you to use two-handed. Oh. But plus four is pretty cool. Okay, none of the rest of that's magical. Okay, we'll save. And rest. And nothing special in that room we saw to the south. So let's just get back to the training hall and then rest if we need to. And then I think we'll try to tackle that dragon. Yep. Yes, we would like to train. Of course. Oh, uh, wait a minute. We gotta see if we've got the money for it. Okay, hang on. We're probably gonna have to go to a back to that armor and just get some change. Yeah, see, not quite enough. We can sell off some of the excess stuff here. Well, I, I know that would be more than enough. There, that's more like it. Okay, now we go back to the training hall. Okay.
Hopefully this isn't too close to... Oh, cool. Our ranger gets to memorize his first. Druid spell. Maybe entangle. Okay. Now, let's go after that. Yeah, it's a 24-7 train hole. Okay, I think the dragon is down this way. That's those barracks we were in. Okay, it looks like a blank wall, but there it should be a secret door here. And a stairway leading sharply upwards to the south. Okay, so that must be where the red dragon is. And they suggest using lightning bolts and moving the magic uses as far to the dragon's north as possible so we can get a bounce back effect off the wall behind the dragon. This room has a large hole in the ceiling on one side. It is filled by an angry looking red dragon which speaks to you in a haughty voice. So, have you brought... Suddenly his eyes go wide in rage. You're not my servants! Fellows, you want my treasure! With a swing of its great tail, it sweeps away a post on the far side of the room, releasing tons of rock from the ceiling and covering the far door. I'll have to dig that out later, the dragon growls, but first... I'll have you pay for putting me through all this trouble. Okay, dragon fear. Which stinks. Okay, so there's the dragon. And we didn't cast any protective spells. So if this totally goes a heck in a handbasket. We'll just have to recover from our last save before this. <coughs> oh yeah. That was cool. have her equip her staff sling. Oh, crap. That was not good. Okay, we might have to do a repair. Or, I'll tell you what, we'll come back in the next episode and do this battle the right way and just forget this ever happened. So, we'll see you then. <laughs>